friends, fans, haters, hello, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Erica. Thanks for, you know, clicking on this video or just happening upon it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm at a pretty fun time, so if you want to subscribe, that'd be pretty cool, and you know, give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Tell you what, it's like a gorgeous day out. I don't know if it'll focus enough to see the, look how blue that sky is. There's like no clouds. It's actually not even too hot. The last few days, it was like 91, 93. Today it dropped down to like 82, and I think it's a little cooler right now because we're kind of at like sundownish time, kinda. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I've been having a lot of car problems, AKA your girl's gonna have to buy a new car pretty soon probably, or figure that all out, AKA I'm now on a bit more of a budget. No more Gymshark every two weeks, which actually I wasn't doing that anyways, but still. You know the chase. So with that comes budgeting food as well. But obviously we are on a weight loss journey. We got goals yet. This car is going to run me over. Da, da, da. Yes, you're welcome. Come on, man. But because we are on a weight loss journey, we have goals to get. We do not want to ruin progress. So we're going to try to we. I'm gonna try to kind of talk you through how I, you know, purchase at the grocery store, but keeping in mind a little bit of a tighter budget compared to splurging on random things. You know what the, um, you know what the worst thing is about like the pandemic like half being over is that like, I feel like I never know about masks anymore. I know I think it's like up to the person a lot of time, but also then it's obviously gonna be up to the establishment. There's no sign, but I'm gonna wear it anyways, you never know. Okay, so I didn't bring my tripod. I'm sorry, I hope the ankle's not too bad. So rule number one for the grocery store in general for me almost always, bring a list or at least have like a few set things in mind. Cause the thing is really about the grocery store is the way that it brings you in it's gonna bring you by like those kind of flashy items that you're gonna want, but they're more expensive and obviously and usually they're not as good for you. So bring a list, try and keep it to mostly whole ingredients, and try it and go. Oh, sorry. And you wanna go kind of around the outside more often than not, but sometimes you're gonna go through those middle aisles, and today we're gonna go through the middle, which we don't do too often. So let's go. Now be aware the thing that's gonna be the hardest to probably get at a good price fresh is going to be fruit. Um, usually berries are probably one of the most expensive and also be careful like if you accidentally end up in the like organic section. Um, apples are something that are really cheap. I mean they're $1.79 per pound so you can get like a decent chunk for probably less than $2, less than $3. I grabbed five. They're a good snack, something you can snack on easily. That's obviously going to keep that kind of like hunger away. Uh, strawberries are actually on sale. So that's something else also is like be aware of those sale prices and then think about like quantities and how much you're gonna want when you get everything. things. Cucumbers, literally 99 cents each, something that adds a lot of volume, but like zero calories, like literally it's water essentially. I mean, not actually, but low calories, high quantity. That's what you're looking for when you're gonna do weight loss in general. Five pound bag of potatoes, 2.99, okay? Stuff like that. Now, potatoes, they're pretty versatile. They don't go bad really quickly, especially if you keep them in a cool, dark place. And you can do a bunch of things with them. And again, yes, they're a carbohydrate, but carbs are your friend, okay? They're not terrible for you. I love carbs, they're the best. Two for five, good source of protein, not terribly high in fat. You air fry them, so good. Pretty good so far. Not straight from the list. We actually haven't straight from the list once yet. This is exciting. Usually I'm not the best at it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is gonna be another big tip in general is frozen vegetables. I actually, you know, I've done a few more things you guys haven't seen, but I don't really buy fresh veg that often. Frozen veg are the way to go. I especially love like broccoli and like broccoli cauliflower mixes, corn. Cause I mean, look at those prices, $1.89 for a bag, for like these big bags of the 
Oh, that's peas. Where's the big ones of broccoli? For this, like, there's like, a massive bag of broccoli that I think is like 250 something and it's like a five pound bag, things like that. They're not gonna go bad and they're gonna last, but obviously then you're gonna get those nutrients and they're also really convenient. I got cut off because there's an announcement. Um, they're really convenient because often, you know, you just put it in a bowl, like these ones are steam ready, um, but these bags, I think you pay a little bit more than if it wasn't in a steamable bag. I'm pretty positive, but don't quote me. But stuff like that, it's just definitely a better option if you're on a budget, especially. one bag plus potatoes tell you what i don't know about you guys but i definitely like challenge myself trying to only do it in a bag i feel like it's always a gamble like will i only actually need one bag i'm gonna make it fit one bag and then you're skinning and you're like oh geez this is a two bagger but today <laughs> It wasn't. So I'm gonna show you guys the different items that I purchased. Um, and I'm gonna do it by kind of like categories. I'm gonna go in terms of like macros. So uh, carbs, proteins, produce, like veg and fruit. So gonna unload that and then we're gonna talk you through it. Starting off our things from kind of the fresh produce, like fruit and veg section. Um, and in general, these are gonna be considered usually more like carbohydrates if you're calculating macros. Excuse me, I've got some apples. I think I mentioned this before, apples are very, very inexpensive more often than not. Um, I picked a handful of myself and like I bought five apples, you know, that's the whole like apple a day, keeps the doctor away or whatever. Super easy, snack, cut it up, put it in some oatmeal. Oatmeal is one of those things that is really inexpensive that I would have bought, but I bought it the last time I was at the shop. And oatmeal lasts a very long time. Something like oatmeal with, you know, like apple, a little bit of cinnamon, a nice meal to start your day. Same thing with bananas. Bananas are great, especially if you buy them, you know, green because when you've got a little bit more time, I sometimes will pick a few that are green and a few that are kind of ready to eat right away. That way you have a good balance. And again, when you're on a budget, you want to make sure that you're really trying to not waste any food. Um, because obviously then that's a waste of your money. Bananas are great, high in potassium, high in fiber. Um, and bananas kit or something that can be like a really nice kind of cheeky dessert. Pop some like Nutella or some nut butter. Um, I actually made these really cool like little fried banana bites that are pretty low calorie. Um, I'm gonna show you guys those actually in one of my next dessert videos because I'm gonna do a more chocolatey dessert vid, healthy one. So I've got three recipes already for that. Um, I also got berries. Berries are usually one of the more expensive fruit items, but they were on sale. So they were only, I think it was $2.99, which is pretty like really, really good. Usually something like this, I think is like $4, maybe $5. Then as you saw, I did grab two cucumbers. Like I said, cucumbers are, and in general, fruit and veg are great to snack on because they are, uh, veg are great to snack on because um, especially vegetables they're pretty often low in calories but you know they're a food that can be high in volume you guys have seen a few times already my cucumber and tomato little salad thing um, pop that with some cheese obviously if you're being even more calorie conscious the cheese is going to add some extra fat but also extra protein so kind of pick and choose where you want to you know pick your battles i also did grab two avocados these are avocados if you can see they're well it's kind of hard in this light but this they're on the kind of greener side still they're still really firm avocados yes they are a bit more expensive they were three for five i bought two because i feel like as much as i love avocado i don't eat it as fast as i think i'm gonna eat it so two of them are perfect especially because the last a few more days um really great source of fat and small source of protein but again adding that volume um and again they just make things taste really nice okay okay and then you already saw the potatoes again potatoes super versatile in my opinion you can you know i've got an air fryer you can pop it in the air fryer um make french fries morning potatoes you can um put one in the microwave or in the oven and make like a baked potato and add some decent toppings so really versatile and a pretty good one 
So for our fats and also dairy, we've got a few things. Um, and obviously I've got other things in my pantry, like I mentioned, you know, I've got oats, I've got bread. So I'm gonna mix a lot of these things, um, but I'm also gonna show you kind of in a part two of this video, showing you how I'm putting these meals and like these um, ingredients together to make some decent like low calorie meals. Um, but peanut butter is one of those things that I, I've told you guys before, I'm a bit of a hit or miss on peanut butter, but lately I've been really been loving it. Um, is the camera slowly moving? Lately I've been loving peanut butter. I've been putting it in my oats with some banana and cinnamon. I've been making this delicious uh, low calorie, like, or healthy cookie thing, um, which I will show you in that dessert video. But peanut butter is great. Now I will say, um, peanut butter is one of those things that you can get caught depending on brands, you know, a lot of brands will have lots of sugar in it. Like if you're getting Skippy, it has so much sugar, so much sodium. I went for a store brand just cause it was the cheapest option. If you can get one that is a little bit more like, I guess or not organic, but organic, like that the only ingredient is peanuts. Like I know this one does have um, salt and sugar, but it doesn't have as much as some of those other um, brands. And, um, but yeah, if you can get a peanut butter that's as minimal ingredients as possible, that's the best. I mean, this has four ingredients, so it's still not terrible. Um, and also in general, in general rule for grocery shopping as well, store brand is always going to be cheaper. Like I think literally nine times out of 10. That's why I go for a store brand unsweetened almond milk. Um, I also, I prefer the unsweetened compared to sweetened or vanilla or anything like that. That's me. Um, almond milk is great. I use almond milk. I also like oat milk. Oat milk is higher in calories, so that's something to keep, keep in mind if you're using a lot of milk. Then maybe almond milk is a better option. I don't really use too much milk to begin with. I use a splash of it in my coffee. Um, so for me, I kind of just buy whatever I'm in the mood for, whichever is cheaper at the moment. This was also on sale. So, you know, a double whammy, eight servings, 30 calories per serving, and a serving is a full cup. I'm never having a full cup of just almond milk, literally ever. So great. And then Faye 0% fat Greek yogurt. I cannot stress enough how great this has been for me and my weight loss journey. Um, I'm someone, I don't really do too much dairy products uh, because I'm technically allergic to dairy. I'm not lactose free, it's a slight difference. But this does not bother me at all. I don't really have any reactions like I do to other dairy products. Um, super high in protein. Um, in one serving, this has 18 grams of protein and one serving is only 90 calories. 90 calories, 18 grams of protein, zero fat come on and actually this container is three servings technically i know for me depending on my mood this can be split into more servings depending on how much you like yogurt but this with you know some fruit and you know some nut butter really great uh meal or snack depending on what you want i yeah highly recommend Carbohydrates, I think I mentioned these in the store, um, but besides the potatoes, I also got some pasta, specifically in the rotini shape, just because, and I feel like it's a very summery shape. My mom, growing up, used to always make all these different types of pasta salads, and I feel like it was always rotini, so I just feel like it's, in my brain, it's a summery pasta shape. Um, carbs are your friend, okay? Carbs are brain food, carbs help give you energy. The problem with carbs is that people demonize carbs and then they think that they're terrible for you. They're not. An excess of carbs, sure, but any food in an excess is gonna be bad for you. So, eat the damn carbs, that's all I gotta say. One serving of pasta, if you're actually measuring it out, is about 200 calories. I personally use just a full cup, just cause it it's easier than doing two thirds. I don't know why, my brain, but. Literally 200 to 300 calories, not too terrible. Obviously it's gonna fill you up, adding in your protein sources and a carb and um, your vegetables and maybe a sauce. I personally don't do too many condiments, but honestly, eat the damn pasta. And one box is eight servings technically and only 89 cents, okay? Food for thought. I did have rice on my list also, but when I saw how cheap these were, 
I figured I might as well just go with this because I mean, this right here is technically 16 servings of carbs. Eat the carbs. So now we're on to proteins. Um, pretty straightforward, honestly. Now, I think I did video this at the shop. I have been loving these little Purdue chicken um, popcorn chicken bites. Um, and I also got the chicken strips. Just so I feel like that's a little bit nicer to throw on top of a salad or something like that. Um, these are just so fun and they're easy and you know, they're not too bad on the ingredients on the macros. We've got 12 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein. So definitely not terrible at all compared to some of those processed things that we have out there. This whole pack is around four to five servings. And what I like about something like that is that it's a little bit more of like a fun item to have. So when you think about some of those things that you'll want to crave when you are, you know, dieting or in a more restrictive phase a little bit, something like chicken fingers and fries and pizza, something like this is going to be a better option if that's something that you crave a lot, for me, I crave savior, savory foods way more than I crave sweet foods. This is gonna be great because considering, you know, this, I'll pop it in the air fryer and it's, I think, what, 200 calories? Great. Compared to going to a restaurant where they're gonna be saturated in oil and have way higher fat content and things like that, this is something that I really love. And again, it's easy, and especially if you're someone on the go, working from home or things like that, home late, like it's super quick, super easy. Next, we have eggs. Eggs are great. I love eggs. People get all, people talk lately about eggs and like cholesterol. There's actually been a lot of research in eggs and the cholesterol in eggs often is not actually what pertains to people's cholesterol being high. Um, a lot of times when you think of eggs, where you have with eggs, you have bacon, you have ham, sausage. It's a lot of those foods that actually lead to your increase in cholesterol compared to the cholesterol in eggs. So the more you know, great source of, you know, good source of protein, um, not too high in calories. And again, I just, I literally love eggs. It's one of those things I could never live without. And then last but not least, we have some tuna. Tuna is so underrated in my opinion. And I do get the cans because the cans, you know, anything canned or something like cans or boxes, they're always gonna be a little bit lower in price. Um, this, I got the chicken of the sea tuna. It was quite literally the cheapest one there. Um, and tuna is, in my opinion, really underrated. I mean, like, this little can has 24 grams of protein. Um, I eat tuna all the time, literally all the time. It's super easy. You can pop it in a pan if you want something warm, but a lot of times I'll just throw this over a salad, throw it over pasta, um, pretty easy. Then obviously we're gonna have other things to contribute to our proteins, like protein powders. And like I said, that Greek yogurt is really high in protein. Um, I really do love my protein brand protein right now. They are, pretty inexpensive, but have really good ingredients. Um, I actually literally, what, as I was coming up the stairs, I got a new package for MyProtein, and I'm gonna try their new, actually from the vegan MyProtein, which I haven't tried their vegan products before. But they have this clear whey protein. Let's get this out of the way. They have this really cool clear protein. Um, and what's so cool about it, maybe I'll show it to you because I think I am actually gonna try it and have some, have it as my drink for dinner. It's more like a juice compared to that milky thick consistency of most proteins. Um, the clear way is like a very light juice. I literally have had this, put it over some, with, I've had the other, some other flavors of it, put it over ice. Um, the vegan one, I would do say, I think it is a little bit less in protein than the standard one, but it's also lower in calories. So two scoops is 50 calories, 10 grams of protein. But in general, my protein has really good products and for pretty good prices, you can get a decent sized bag of protein for like $10 and they are constantly having sales. So if protein is something that's gonna help you hit your target and hit your macros and overall hit your goals, highly recommend that brand overall. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wow, Erica, that's a lot of really good whole, whole ingredients, but what if you have a sweet tooth or what if I want something a little like cheekier? Well, I'm not an absolute sociopath, now am I? So 
I always, I tell you guys this all the time, I'm all about balance, having those little treats here and there. Um, something I've been loving from the shop is these like store brand mac and cheese bites. Um, I think there's like usually 12 to 15 in a box. You pop like three or four in the microwave oven, not the microwave oven, in the air fryer and literally so good, so tasty. Again, and it kind of fulfills that whole like fried, more greasier type of desire but without all the extra like oil and grease that you're gonna get if you get it from a restaurant obviously if you're going you know once a week or something like that for having those meals that's a little bit different but if you're someone who you know you crave that like three four times a week these little things are gonna be better also halo top this is actually on sale i don't usually get halo top as often that often just because like i've told you guys i don't crave sweet things nearly as often as i crave savory things but this was on sale um, for three for 10 and Halo Top is usually like $6 for like a pint. So Halo Top, if you're unfamiliar, it's a very low calorie ice cream. And I believe it's actually all keto. This entire pint is only 330 calories. Um, I'm someone that for me, this will last me three or four sittings because I'll literally like go in, have a few spoonfuls, walk away. Um, but if you're someone who, you know, again, you want to just sit and eat a whole thing of ice cream, nothing wrong with that but something like this is going to be better than you know a lot of other brands and like say like a ben and jerry's of the same flavor that's going to be more like a thousand calories now in terms of bang for your buck i will say that getting a big tub of ice cream like i think the gallon tubs is going to be more cost effective but because they're going to have higher calories more fat and again are you really just going to have one actual serving worth of ice cream or are you going to sit there and just keep going those are those types of things that I think you just have to think about in your own habits when you're kind of weighing those decisions. But just letting you know that these are some great options that I personally love. Oh, look at that color. Ooh, baby. If I get a couple of some ice. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. It's like a little cocktail. Cocktail. Mocktails with Erica. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of, like, literally, like, drinks at bars. Wow. I poured that bottle perfectly. Okay, let's do a good old taste test. Here we go. Here we go. Are you kidding? It's so good. Hello again, but also goodbye. I realized um, I originally was thinking I was going to do more to that to this video um, and showing the meals, but I figured I'll do that in another video so I can kind of talk to you more because already this video is getting a little bit long. I'm sorry. If you are still here, comment where you're from because I know I've, I've recently got some new subscribers, which is pretty cool. And I'm just wondering where you guys are all from. And uh, I really hope this video has helped you if you are a bit on a budget, if you're maybe a student looking for some different, you know, ideas or tricks to grocery shopping. I really hope this video has helped. If it has, give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, subscribe if you're new. And definitely stay tuned for one of my next videos, which I'm going to do uh, weight loss meals on a budget. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.